Hey, what's happening, Wargamers? Uh, it is Leland from Aegis Brand Studios coming back at you with another video today. And I'm just going to show you a quick little video. This one's going to take uh, just a minute or two out of your day. And uh, I'm just going to use Ephraim Stern here. And I'm just going to show you how to paint the glowing eyes to represent uh, the psychic uh, empiric abilities. Um, so just going to start off right here. And as you can see, I've already got the base layers done, got her face down there. And you can see I've already painted the, the base of the eye using a pallid witch flesh um, so I just start off with the pallid witch flesh and let me just point to it here so you can see with the pallid witch flesh right along there uh, it it's just sort of that like creamy off-white I'm just gonna try and get in here yeah so it's just that creamy off-white so it still has that nice bright look kind of blends in with the skin tones uh, but that is where our starting point is going to be so let's just get into focus here. So yeah, so that's where we're gonna start. The other parts of this recipe we're gonna be using is gonna be the uh, Nilec Oxide and the White Scar. Uh, now the reason we're using the Nilec Oxide is because it is nice and thin. Uh, so it allows you to sort of put a bit of a layer of color uh, around the actual, uh, uh, the eyes, like so around the, the pupils of the eyes. And that, in turn, will, uh, will let you sort of give some nice uh, color to represent some sort of like in, uh, some sort of like psychic abilities there. So we got her nice and close here. So we're going to get in here and uh, just going to be very careful using a nice thin brush. So I'm using uh, like the, the care. What is this? The insane detail brush from uh, from Army Painter here. And we're just going to slowly add some color there so don't worry too much about uh about getting the color over the eye itself you want a little bit of it in there because what you want is uh and we're going to get in here to zoom in a bit so what you're going to want is uh, to actually have yeah, there we go so you can see there the color sort of uh, dipped over a little bit onto the uh, the actual skin tone so of the cheek and everything like that and that's just to represent a little bit of the glow so what we're going to do is we're going to give that a chance to dry and then we're going to move on to the next step so the next step we're going to be looking at we're going to be adding uh, some white scar to this one and you want this one nice and thin because you don't want it to overpower everything you also want to use a nice fine detail brush on that so let me just get in there Excuse the shaking around, my apparatus is not the greatest at the moment. And you're just going to go in there a little bit, and yeah, as you can see, I got a, I got a little bit too far over there. So let's uh, let's just go back and fix that. So I've gotten in there, I've made the uh, the quick fix there. Oh, there. So as you can see, it's uh, the the white of the iris is far more, uh, it's far brighter now, it stands out. You still have some of the ni uh, Nilex Oxide that uh, just sort of shows up to show a little bit of empiric power. Now, the neat thing about this particular technique is you can actually do it with most any type of glaze. Um, you'll have seen that uh, I do my Space Marine lenses uh, for my Grey Knights, very similar using uh, using an old blue glaze, the Gilliman glaze. And it's just, it's a quick, easy technique that you can do to give your, uh, your psychers, your Space Marines, just a little bit more character. So anyway, there you go. That is just a quick, easy way of showing the uh, the psychic powers coming through the uh, the glowing eyes of your character. So as always, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thank you so much for watching and happy wargaming.